How can you give students an assignment and project feedback during distance learning or online teaching? Hi, I'm Tom from Wondershare Demo Creator and today I'm going to share with you an easy way to help you give students an assignment and project feedback for online courses. If this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss the latest tips and tricks for video creation. So for online teaching, the video content itself is an effective way to share your knowledge or give students an assignment and project feedback. Rather than sending students written feedback, try to provide direct instructions via video. Today, I'll show you how to make an assignment and project feedback video with Wondershare Demo Creator. If you don't have Wondershare Demo Creator, there's a link in the description below for a free trial. So video lectures are obviously the backbone of any effective online course. Your students rely on these videos to learn course material and understand the topics of discussion. Rather than recording hour-long lectures of yourself talking over presentation slides, try shorten your videos and make them more interactive. Shorter clips are easier to digest and will feel more consumable. And they're also faster to produce and caption. Now, let me show you how to record a concise lesson video in Demo Creator. Okay, so after you downloaded and installed the Demo Creator software, you can open it and then you will see this new recording button right here that you can press. Then you will see this pop-up window right here. And at this point, you can connect your microphone and webcam to your computer if you haven't done so, and then you can enable them. So click the microphone and adjust the audio levels if you need to, and then connect your webcam as well. And if you want, you can press the X on the webcam preview window to make it disappear. Then you obviously need to get your course material ready and make sure everything looks good. And then you can press the big round recording button right here. Okay, and after the recording is finished, your screen, camera, and microphone will be present directly in the Wondershare editor. And there's some cool things you can do here. You can, for example, add some stickers, or you can add annotations, or you can add some captions. In fact, there's an entire separate video on this channel on how to edit using Wondershare Demo Creator. If you want to find out more about that, check out the video on this channel. During recording, please keep in mind that this is about personality and engagement. So show your face. As mentioned previously, while you can record anything on your screen and show presentation slides, you should include your webcam as well. So make sure your students can clearly see your face. Don't record yourself from far away as if they were watching you from the back of a lecture hall. Instead, try a nice shot of you behind a desk or in a more casual setting. Okay, here are some useful tips to help you create engaging video content and help facilitate and maintain a close connection during your course. One, have a good quality webcam. So if the webcam on your laptop or computer is not good enough, upgrade, buy a better webcam. Number two, use a good quality microphone. Again, if the microphone in your laptop is no good, upgrade to a better microphone. Number three, film your face and make sure your face is centered and not on one side of the screen or the other side, but right in the center. And that brings me to number four, don't just be in the center of the screen, also look at the lens. So you may be also uh, wandering towards your screen from time to time, but always go back to the actual lens where you're recording. Don't look next to the lens or above the lens or something, look directly into the lens. And number five, maintain good posture throughout your video. Especially if it's a longer course, people tend to just, you know, let themselves go like this, but make sure to maintain good posture. In my next video, I'll show you more possibilities to build up your online teaching with Wondershare Demo Creator. If you found this video useful, click the like button and leave a comment below if you have any questions. And if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe for more videos. See you next time.